Hey there, everybody. So this is kind of the moment you've been waiting for. Um, we are not really even close to being done with our course yet, but I wanted to begin uh, prepping you and giving you information in regard to your capstone to the course, which is a solo experience uh, in the forest. Um, we used to call this the walkabout experience, and years ago at Castleton, I actually did it with everybody. I would take folks into the back country um, and I would allocate them a plot within the forest and people would then uh, spend the night with very little um, comforts and I would actually spend the night with them at a separate camp location. Uh, I don't do that anymore um, for a number of reasons, although I believed it was valuable, I was put in some positions that were um, really pretty uncomfortable for me, um, a few substance issues, not that many, a uh, few, one person actually uh, went missing for a short period of time that was very uh, anxiety inducing. Uh, I had some people have panic attacks and I had some folks um, injure themselves with edge of tools and I just kind of felt like I was taking on too big of a, a liability. Uh, I can recall one, one trip uh, that we were on in the mountains, it was a chilly night. Uh, there may have been a dusting of snow, and um, I had put these guys kind of along this mountain rill or stream. Uh, they were each probably two to 300 yards apart. Um, and as I checked on them in the night, I went and I, I saw this one guy who had this great fire going, and he was cooking pork chops over the fire, and the dude was living life, so it was, it was really pretty spectacular. Um, and the following morning, as I went to check on anybody, I found this guy and he was actually curled up next to another guy uh, in a shelter. So he had broken uh, uh, solo and he was like, I'm so, I was so cold, I was freezing, I was freezing and, I, and I, you know, I was afraid I was gonna perish. Uh, he wouldn't have perished, but that's fine. Um, so we kind of gathered back at my camp and um, we were doing a debrief in a circle and this guy came kind of along down the river and he had a, his pack on and on his pack he had these these big uh these big cans of baked beans that had been eaten the night before and i remember the can said man can on it uh and and so he was sitting in front of the circle and he was trying real hard and suddenly we started hearing burr, 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 burr. and his gut just sounded it, it was like something out of a science like it was living and um his face just went from like kind of pale to a green and there was some kind of odor that was just absolutely horrific. And I'll just never forget him saying, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta leave. And he left for the car and, uh, and, and um, the whole way those man canned beans were just going blang, 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 like a one man band. It's pretty hilarious. I had another student um, who was, uh, he was like a farm boy and I really liked him, um, country boy. Uh, he he, he um, wore his hair in like a Liberty Spike mohawk though. It was kind of out of character. And I remember he showed up for the solo. He had nothing but a pair of jeans, a John Deere tractor, and a cheap hatchet that was, um, you know, aluminum handled, real piece of junk. And, uh, and I said, hey, are you ready for this thing? And he's like, I'm born ready, I'm born ready. Don't you doubt me. And I put him up on this mountainside and I would do a couple rounds and he's cursing and kicking and you know, matter can be and nothing's going well. He's He's, he's cut himself a little bit. He's, um, he's uh, um, not been able to get a fire going. He's ripped his shirt. He's working up a lather, taking off his sweatshirt, and just things aren't going well. Then come around about 1.30 in the morning, I see half the mountain on fire. Um, that's, that's just a, a figure of speech there, uh, exaggerating a bit. So I go up the mountain, sure enough, he's got this bonfire, and uh, he's kind of he's circling the bonfire dancing and it's like it's like something out of an old western like some kind of war dance he's got that axe above his head whoop 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 whooping it up and uh and that mohawk is you know kind of wilted down to the side it's not sticking straight up anymore uh uh the next morning as he came along of course i had seen what had happened throughout the night i uh i said hey henry uh, how'd you do he said and i knew he'd been up till about four in the morning if that he said, never better, never better. I never slept so good in my life. Anyway, some kind of comical stories to, to get you excited about it. Your job is really pretty simple. Um, 
I want you to go into the forest. It can be directly behind your house or directly behind campus or off in the National Forest or wherever. And if you need, if you need, it can be in your backyard. I don't really care. And I want you to build a shelter. I would like you to build a responsible small fire, cook something over that fire and spend the night. I'm asking that you avoid bringing um, any kind of uh, cellular technology with you. I would like you to take a picture of what you're doing, but I, I guess that's hard to do because most of the time your pictures are your phones now. So um, in that case, you don't really even need to take a picture. Uh, it's hard for me to, to really be able to shuss out who does this and doesn't do it. However, I will tell you, um, I can tell by, by the product that you come up with in the end. But as I said to you before, I want you to get a lot out of this class. That's my objective. But really, it's your, it's your class. And, and I'm providing an opportunity for you to have some time to do something that you may never get to do again in your life. What are you bringing with you? I'm asking you to bring as little with you as you are comfortable. I do suggest a sleeping bag. Uh, I can't tell you how many people in the old days when I did this wouldn't bring a sleeping bag and they were very cold. I'd wake up and they'd basically be laying in their fire. Uh, that's not really what, it, what I want. So a sleeping bag is a good idea. Um, and, and other than that, you know, just uh, uh, something to make a fire with. Stay away from that technology uh, and, you know, make yourself something good, good to eat over that fire. And, and sleep out overnight. You know, it's just, uh, it's an overnight process that can be a real eye-opener. Just looking for you, you now create that shelter, you know, maybe a little Nesmuk range, and, uh, and see if you can make it um, through the night in a comfortable fashion in the Vermont or wherever you happen to be uh, uh, woods. You don't have to go super far out in the woods. I'm not looking for you to go get lost. Uh, just make sure that you're on land that you are allowed to camp on. Um, you can camp on national forests, you can camp on most state forest lands, um, and you can ask permission uh, to camp on private lands. Um, if you're in, in this area, rural Vermont, finding a place to camp should be pretty easy. Build a squirrel hut, nest in range, cook something. And then what I'm asking for is if you have a digital camera, not something attached to your phone, because I want you to get away from that phone, just take a picture of your camp and a brief write-up of what you did. If you don't, sketch up a drawing of what you did and, uh, and send that my way. So keep in mind, um, this, this is something that you can do from now to the end of the class. So we still have some warmish, warmish, it's a little chilly now, some warmish um, days and nights. Uh, as we progress toward the next three weeks or so, uh, um, rifle season for hunting is going to start if that is something you're very concerned with. Some people like to couple the, the experience with hunting. Others that they find that very unsettling. Um, so in that case, I would do it sooner than later. I don't know what your schedules are for school, um, but it is my hope that this is a break from the norm and really gives you a, 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 an experience that is refreshing in the time of COVID and really too much screen time. So reach out with me for any questions. I think I've made that pretty clear. Um, again, this is the capstone experience for your course, but it is not by any means spelling the end of the course. Hey guys, have fun. Uh, email me, call me uh, with any questions you may have. Uh, this is the idea is for you to put, to put to practice as many of these skills as, as you possibly can. Um, for the rest of the course, there's gonna be a, a bunch of other demos. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna dive deeper into navigation. Um, talk some more about uh, um, wild edibles as well as medicinals uh, and make this the best experience we can. I am again thrilled to tell you that next semester uh, I will be able to teach hybrid which means that I will be able to see people in person outside. Uh, so I'm teaching winter, winter camping uh, and recreation, uh, class I really enjoy teaching and wilderness uh, canoe tripping both classes that I greatly enjoy. There's a few classes I teach that will not be offered, but hopefully once this COVID business gets over, we'll get back to them too. But I hope to see some of you in those classes. Um, they will not disappoint, especially with the fact that we will be back in person again. Uh, so uh, I look forward to that. Hope, hopefully you do too.